What are you doing to my husband? My my uh, my son. That's a problem. You think he's your husband? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> now what I think he should do is be quiet. Like I grew up Adrian where he didn't have standards with you. I'm getting really heated right now. Okay, wait, hold on a second. So what you're saying is I don't have standards. Well. So if you're gonna insult me, I'll just back. So, so what? The attitude I'm talking about now. It's just I don't like the attitude that you have. You're in my house. <laughs> Meet the Forbes. Yo people, welcome back to our channel. Meet the Forbes. Today we have a new video. We have... Mama Forbes. <laughs> <laughs> All of you will um, know her from the Falling Asleep at the Wheel prank. Yep. So if you haven't watched that already, just click that link right here and that will take you to that video. Um, but this is Mama Forp. A lot of people have been requesting her presence and we thought we'd do like a little sit down. This is high demand. High demand. So have you got anything to say to them, Mum? Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm loving this. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about me and Tar's relationship in the beginning and how my mum fit in, really, or how Tara fit in, I should say. What was your experience, babe? Um, so, as you know, I started going out of Adrian when I was 14 and um, I had to deal with Sister Jonah here and um, at first when we started going out I didn't really, I didn't really know your mum I didn't know mum at all so I mean the first time I went to his house I got really really scared because obviously Evangelist Jonah over here so I just kind of was scared, I don't know No, you? Of course I was scared, I couldn't say bye So came to my house very often when I wasn't there. I tried to, yes. Okay, right, I so to. I didn't know that about you, so maybe that's probably when the first time I saw you, you said that I looked at you away. No, you looked at me away for about five years. I looked at you away. Oh, absolutely, from 14 to 19, you was definitely very, um... Did you want to chop in here somewhere? Was you stern? Don't think stern was, Actually, was the word. Say, my mum was stern, she just wasn't familiar with uh, girls coming no, around. Exactly, and that was a rule, especially not in your bedroom, was it not? No, it she... It was an unwritten rule, I believe. She used to say... All of my rules were unwritten, they were spoken. She used to say, um, come in. Hi, Stacia D. Hi, Adrian. It's me. Hello. That's what I used to get all the time. I wonder why, though. What do you mean you wonder why? Mm. What why do you would mean? I like that to you? Because you're being horrible. Why would I just be horrible to you? Am I horrible to your friends? Well, no. you thought I was taking your son, obviously. Jesus is love! I'm trying to think. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm taking your son because obviously I know that he's growing up and then he will have a girlfriend. But I suppose I wasn't expecting you. Damn! <laughs> What was you expecting? What was you expecting? <laughs> what? What do you mean? What was you expecting? I'm not expecting in looks. Oh, yeah, son was, your son was definitely punching. He what definitely does, punched about his weight. What, what does the word punching mean? I was way better looking than he was, so he was. I was out of his category. Really? Oh, absolutely. Oh, no, I don't think so. It's the opposite. You were... You were out of his category. Yeah, no, I was my no, I was no, no, no. So I think now it's all coming back to me now. Yeah, the reason why I looked at you, I think you had attitude. You felt you was better than us. <laughs> what? You felt you was better than us. <laughs> no, I didn't. I agree, actually. Thank you. Yes. What? That's why I looked. You, you had you had some false air about you. Pause air. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know what's happening here. Mm. Let's pause. What's going on? Should we? No, we're, we're talking about when we first met. You, you, every time we meet, you tell the same story that I didn't like you for five years or I treated you a kind of way for five years. You did, for sure. Well, that's probably why. That's what I'm saying. Now I remember you had an attitude about you. Oh, I'm better than you a lot. Mm. No, you can't. I'm not denying that you that um, you're saying for five years. I didn't like you, so don't deny that you had this attitude. There must have been a reason for it. I wouldn't have attitude for you though, so that doesn't really make sense. What do you mean? Do you think that makes sense? You had an attitude. For your mum? You just had an attitude. I couldn't even say bye to her. 
Yeah, but you had to add because she could smell it, I suppose. Mmm. Salem's a hound dog. That can smell. You, that woman intuition that you guys say you have. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Wait, hold on. Okay. Do you think your mum was too stern on me? Too stern? I mean, she wasn't stern. Adrian, come on, come on, come on. She could never beat me. What do you mean? Exactly, so she wasn't too stern. I mean, well, how could she? I mean, to a normal person, mm. mum did not like me at all. That's how I wouldn't say she didn't like you. Ah, uh, Adrian, Stacia, did your mum like me? Be Thank you. Stacia's on the video, so. No, I don't. Well, are we even still doing the video? Yeah. Okay, Stacia, was mum nice to me? No. Did she like me? Be honest. No. Except oh, for why do you say I didn't like you? Because she didn't. What? Tell me, okay, give me a hi, hi Stacia D. Hi Adrian. Hello. Yeah. So what does that mean that's not like you? Sorry, what is this guys? Sorry, hold on, hold on. What is this? Hi Stacia D. Hi Adrian. Hello. What is that? That doesn't even make any sense. That doesn't say that I doesn't I don't like you. It's just I don't like the attitude that you have. You're in my house. <laughs> yes? Well you shouldn't have been there in the first place. <laughs> Sorry, your son invited me to your house. Did he drag you there? Yes, basically. No, oh, I did. Maybe the training needs to start from home. You can't have an issue with me. It starts with him. No. I dragged you there. He had training because he was scared that I would find you there. So and that's why he had me in his bedroom. Mm -hmm. But then you're a girl. So what does that mean? You're a girl and you should have respect for yourself. Yeah. That's exactly what you should have had. You're like a nasty. <laughs> <laughs> that's on the nasty with you. <laughs> Adrian, what? Adrian, that's on the nasty with you. <laughs> so if you want to start throwing stuff out here, okay? <laughs> Remember your mother fourth is here. Yeah, I mean, but I don't understand. What? You said that I basically didn't have standards and I'm a girl child. I didn't tell you didn't have standards. And you said the attitude I have. Yes, you're in my house. house. Had or have? Mm. Had or have? Because we had then. Oh, we okay, I, I, I don't know if he was trying to bring like... No, you know, we're talking about then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But you know, you should have been more humble. Humble? Yes. What was I prepping about? In your attitude towards me. You're saying that I said, like this to you. What was your response to me? He was very stush and like evangelist Jonah. Yeah. And so how well? You don't want to come out here and call my mom stush on YouTube. Are you normal? For what? Sorry. Sorry. Hold on. No, I'm not stush. Stacia was mom stush. Stacia's not in the video. Stacia was mom stush. Mom was not stush. She was house. stush. If you come into someone's house, say hello nicely. You abide by their rules, right? But there was, I was sitting in the front room, and it was me and Stacia on this sofa, and you was on that sofa. So far. So what rules wasn't I adhering to? And what does the word stush mean? Like he was very like <laughs> toffee nose. Yeah, yes. yes. Back up, she's saying. Mummy was. I have standards, yes, I agree. So what you're saying is I don't have standards? Well. Why are you laughing? Because you didn't have at the time. Ooh. Sorry, hold on a second. Walk on. Wait, on the road, walk on. What do you mean? I didn't have standards. At the time. You said you were in the bed. Sorry, my mum grew me up well. I didn't say she didn't. Well, you're saying that I'm a girl child, I should have standards, and I didn't have standards. Like, I grew up aging well, he didn't have standards with you. He knew that he was not to bring girls in the room and he brought you in there and you went there several times you're letting me know. More than once. So well, there you go. I think I can't even count on I don't think um I'm I'm from the old generation, but I don't think that girls should be in, in um boys' bedroom, especially when parents are not around. Well I don't think boys should introduce bring girls into the house when you have themselves and not to. Have you not got your own willpower? I do have my own willpower, did he? Why, did you come? Why are you picking your fingers? Why did you come? <laughs> You wanted to live there, is that what you're saying? No, I school as hell didn't want to live there. Oh, you live there very often. To see Adrian. To Obviously. see Adrian. Can you stop clicking your fingers because it's annoying me? I'm getting really heated right now. Okay, wait, hold on a second. There's no need to get heated, we're talking about the past. No, no, no. But you're saying I had attitude. I didn't yes, have attitude. Why can't you just admit it? Can I, I got another mean... thing, Carla? Right? <laughs> another thing, okay. You have attitude, and, and the other thing is you, you don't admit things. Okay, let's talk about this these videos that you and Adrian do about all these pranks, yeah? Mm. Every time you do him a prank, you, I'm thinking to myself, look at this girl. What were you doing to my husband, my, my, uh, my son? That's a problem you think he's your husband. And I, oh, excuse me. 
That's the you, you can explain that, that statement right that's, there. That's that's right. He said I was No, it was a slip of the tongue. Right, exactly, because that's what you think he is. And what are you insinuating? Well... No, no, no. I think you're being very rude there and out of order. There goes the match this trip now. The blood of Jesus, yeah! <laughs> Yes, yeah, so let's go back to what I was gonna say. Okay. That you, we're talking about your attitude, yeah, and your behaviour. So you and Adrian do these pranks to mm-hmm. each other. Yep. And you've gotten him lots of times. Mm-hmm. And he has got you. Yeah. But what I'm noticing, maybe it's just me, audience out there, you'll see if you agree with me. Whenever Adrian does you do a prank to you and then he tells you at the end, oh it's Tara, sorry, it's just a prank, it's just a prank. This is you. Don't touch me, move, don't move from me. <clears throat> no, no, you're upset. Why are you upset when you do him things? And then when you, when, when you say to him it's a prank, he just says, okay, fair enough. You can take his time. Oh, yeah. Okay. Why do you do that? Hold on. Remember when we got married, we became one. Why you, do you We do became that? one, you know. We're still one. Remember when you have to lay your head tonight? We, just say it. Because you one. can definitely stay here. Okay, SW11 can be your postcode for tonight. Please don't give up my address. <laughs> That's why I said SW11. Okay? Right. So, so the reason so why. The attitude I'm talking about now. You walked into that. So, mm-hmm. the reason why is because Adrian's pranks are horrible. Mine ain't horrible. What? Adrian told me the other day. What did you say in the last prank that you did to me? Where you ignored me, you wouldn't talk to me. Yeah. Yeah? What other pranks have you done to me? Where you cut my hair? Where you cut my hair? Adrian, let's let's go, let's go. You fainted. Yes. After an argument. Yes. You uh You could have given him a a, a heart attack. You could definitely do. Definitely. I did. Remember I did tell you about that, didn't I? Yeah, you told me you wanted to slap me in my face. Did I say in your face? Yes, I said I really wanted I really wanted to slap you, you know. I really wanted to slap you in your face. And you just stayed on the phone like... <laughs> That's the reaction you want. Yeah, because it was so live, so true. But please admit it. Admit what? That you're not a good sport. I'll and admit you, it when you admit it. When I admit what? That, that you're not a good sport either. How am I not a good sport? Because we're basically the same person. So if you're going to insult me, I'll just... We're basically the same person. How do you mean we're basically the same person? You're Tara basically. and I'm Jonah. Where are you? Am I Jonah? Are you? Yes, I am. <laughs> so who am I then? <laughs> eh? She's feeling salty. This is, how, this is the reaction I get every time I prank her. Adrian, I wouldn't if I was you. Well, do you want to know something, Tara? <clears throat> I don't want to know anything right now. I don't want to know anything. So just leave me alone. Thank you. Now what I think you should do is be quiet. Do you want to tell her? No, I don't think anybody should tell me anything. That's what I think. I think everybody should just be quiet. No disrespect. No disrespect. Okay, can I just tell you something? You've been (laughs) pranked! Tara's been pranked. (laughs) By (laughs) Mrs. Thor. No, I'm Mrs. Thorpe. <laughs> First, Mrs. Thorpe. First generation. <laughs> Cheers, I'm hot. So guys, my that. mom wanted to prank Tara because of the prank that we did on her. That's right. Shall we say goodbye now? <laughs> guys, remember to like, comment, subscribe if you like this video. Peace. And ask me again, I'll be back.